Our next guest is very familiar with that not-so-pretty skyline this morning. A little bit rainy out there. Native New Yorker and three-time Academy Award nominee Sigourney Weaver is best known for, well, take your picks. And yeah, her breakthrough really? role yes. in Alien in 1979. <laughs> She's appeared in so many movies that you know and love. We're talking Ghostbusters. We're talking Avatar, Gorillas in the Mist, Working Girl. I could go on. You probably are in your own head. Her new movie, it's called Call Jane. Weaver stars alongside Elizabeth Banks, and Weaver plays a character named Virginia, inspired by the leader of a real-life secret group of women who worked to provide abortions in 1960s Chicago. That would be before the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. In this clip, Virginia works to convince Banks's character, Joy, to keep working with the group. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it works. And since you just stopped answering your phone, I have a hundred women lined up waiting for the doctor and you're it. You are all I have. You are all we have. Come on, you can't just garden and go to your PTA meetings. That's not the joy I know. Wow, so Gourney Weaver joins us now. Uh, thank you very much for being here. This movie is uncannily well timed to the point where mm -hmm. when I first watched it, I thought, how did they make it so quickly? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's such a good point, though. But how, yeah. how did how did the meaning of the film change as the national political and legal picture changed? Well, I remember it was difficult for us to find a state in which to film Call Jane. Mm. I didn't really think about it at the time. Um, but I think it was a foreshadowing mm -hmm. of the overturning of Roe, of Roe versus Wade. When did you actually so, film so it? When did you... We filmed in Connecticut in the end. When? When? How long? So ago? that was 2021. 2021. Okay. okay. Yeah. So states would look at the script or the, the ideas in the film and say, "Yeah, we don't want that." We here. don't want that kind of film. film wow. Here. So uh, we were also making it for about 25 cents. That might have had <laughs> something to do. But anyway, it's. I was alive during uh, pre Roe versus Wade. Um, and uh, what's interesting to me is that the landscape has changed a lot in terms of women's access to medication. Um, but, uh, you know, I think of this as women's health care, yeah. basic women's health care. Mm -hmm. And um, so well, women don't have to provide abortions yeah. for other women now, but it's now they're criminalizing anyone who helps a woman trying to get abortion. And criminalizing the woman, too. Yes. So the polls all show that most people in the country are where you are on this issue. They, they support a woman's right to some access. Uh, and yet the issue is very divisive. People who are opposed are extremely opposed. Mm -hmm. Were you concerned in taking on this role and, and making this movie that that could lead to issues? You know, I respect other people's points of view um, completely. And, uh, you know, uh, and so I, I, I feel that it, it certainly is a subject that we're now all talking about. And um, I think that that's, that's very healthy. You but know, it, it's it, part of life. The yeah. movie got to me because it just struck a chord with the decisions that we have to make and what we women, as women people, had to go through. Mm -hmm. They're saying you and Elizabeth Banks are calling your performances stand out. We totally agree. Two thumbs up for you. Oh, thank you. But, but what did this role mean to you personally as you're doing, reading the script and you're acting it out? Did it make you think, I'm not even talking about your own life, but what did it mean to you personally to play this, this character? Well, you know, I loved Virginia yeah. um, right away. I think she, she was a, you know, a lifelong activist in the anti-war protests, but I think women were largely sidelined by the men there. So finally, Virginia has found this, um, is behind this organization that she really believes in. She runs it well. Yeah. And she's, I think, quite a great leader. You know, she just, this is like a sisterhood of women sure. taking care of other women. And yeah. I think it's very touching in that way. And Elizabeth plays a housewife who, who for health reasons, has to, yeah. uh, get an abortion, and our group uh, mm -hmm. is there for her. And the callous doctor, who's not really a doctor, at one point describes it as scooping seeds out of a pumpkin. Mm. Yeah. And yes. I just thought, just mm. to relegate it to that, Sigourney. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know that when, when you walked in, there were whispers that you know, Sigourney's here. Yeah. We're all fans. <laughs> true, yeah. um, but then they were followed by whispers about your pen, and it says, yes. bans off our bodies. And this it's is, powerful. 
Yeah. Um, why did you decide to wear that? And why did you decide to use your voice for topics like this? Yeah. Well, um, we were co-sponsored uh, by Planned Parenthood at our premiere in, in uh, L.A., and they gave us these pins, bands off our bodies. Uh, I don't think... I don't think most people want the government involved in their very personal choices about mm. their health and their lives. Um, and I think that was, I mean, I just feel such a connection with the women we took care of in the movie and, you know, with what's going on now, women need our protection and our support. Yeah to go through what is really a serious crisis. What do you think of this idea that, that if people want to stop abortion, which no one wants abortions to happen, that we're focusing on the wrong gender, we should be focusing on the men, uh, because men cause, nine, they cause 100% of all yeah. unwanted pregnancies, and unwanted pregnancies <laughs> are, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I think that's very refreshing to hear you say that, because that is true. Um, people don't, men should be more involved in this. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, and those of us who have sons need to make sure that they're aware of that. Can I just ask you about Avatar? Are you, are you as excited about that as, as the rest of the, the world? The, yeah, the rest of the people on the planet are. Well, and when they um, I'm sure I will be in November when we start <laughs> to promote it around the world. No, it's it was a it's it's a great story, a, a story about family. And um, you happy with how it turned out? I haven't seen it, of course. Yeah. But it's all you did under wraps. It. I did it. I lived through it. Uh -huh. <laughs> all that underwater diving. Um, so uh, I am as excited as any of you to see it. In yeah. fact, you know. Well, we can't wait for that. But Is the Gordy Weaver good in it? <laughs> <laughs> so good. I, I'm excited for people to see Call Jane. Uh, it yeah. it, it, it right. will take people back to a time in this country right. that feels closer than it should. Of course. Yeah. And speaking right. of that, Call Jane hits theaters on Friday. So, Courtney Weaver, thank you so much for joining well, us. My yes. pleasure. We appreciate you.